All right, I'm going to be going over how to set up Instagram Anchor. This is a um, multi-threaded, multi-account, very fast Instagram swapper, also known as a turbo. Um, let's get it started here. This program is for sale on stormobservers.com. So when I pop it open here, you can see I have a list view of um, you know different accounts will show up here. I'm gonna pop open my global statistics. I'm gonna pop open settings and kind of go over some of this. I've pre-filled a lot of this for you. It should be good. I'm gonna change this to 10 and 15. I'm gonna go ahead and change this. Or this is where your Instagram sessions export. So uh, when you log in a bunch of Instagram accounts, it will save the session, so you don't have to like re-log in later. Okay, right here, Instagram sessions. Just make a note or a text document. Go ahead and save that. You can update these settings real time while the program is running. Uh, new threads and existing threads will uh, use these settings immediately. Okay, so if I pop open the resources here, you can see I have targets, accounts, user agents, proxies for accounts, anonymous proxies, and referrers. So for the targets, these are the actual usernames you want to target. So what you want to swap for. Um, these are anonymous, so I'm going to go ahead and load all. And for this demonstration, I'm going to be targeting one username. Uh, you can add or remove while it's running, and they will be evenly queued amongst all active threads on all active uh, accounts, meaning child threads. I'll go over that in a bit. So for now, we're just going to target one with full force. But if I wanted to, I could load a million or whatever more. By default, the list view is disabled because if you're loading a million, it's not going to work throughout the list. So uh, if I want to enable that so I can see what I'm adding, I can click, I can toggle this on, off, on, you get me. So um, I'll go ahead and add this one test swap. Make sure that's it. Let me double check. Yep, we're good there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. You can see it's it's visible. So if I want to, if I want to make it invisible, click that, refresh. Okay to see for now though, we don't have a big list. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up accounts. I'm gonna load these from a text document. I got IDs right here. For the campaign, um, each specific account or a group of accounts can be primed with a specific user agent, proxy, set of proxy, set of user agents via this campaign name. So for me, these first four or whatever, three, I'm gonna load under C1. If you're buying accounts, it's good to know how they were created, what user agent they were made on, uh, things like that. Um, I happen to know what these were created on, and one thing I want to make uh, make you aware of is when you're doing swapping, your account doesn't necessarily need to be phone verified, but to change the username more than once, meaning if you had changed it in the past and you want to swap with it now, um, you may need to add a bogus email address on the account. Um, if you have questions about that, hit me up. So, also the other thing about accounts is I can add or remove these real time while the program's running, start them, prime them, individually control them. I'm gonna go ahead and hide these. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and load user agents. I need to load two sets of user agents. I need to load one for the account campaign that I just made, C1. I have to know what those accounts were made on, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that over. And then I need to load some anonymous user agents. This program, uh, each account thread creates anonymous child threads that are not linked um, to the actual account, meaning the accounts will not get banned or flagged for any of these requests. They're not associated. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and load from file. I got a nice resource folder here. I'm gonna load some desktop user agent. Campaign all. So you can see now I have these for the anonymous threads and I have this one for the, my uh, account pool. So for the proxies for accounts, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't have enough accounts right now in this demo to where I'm gonna be worrying about proxies for accounts, but you can load them. The uh, authenticated format is username, password, at IP port if you need it. Otherwise just IP port. I'll show you how to load pro auto load proxies in the other form here. So for the anonymous proxies, I'm gonna. I bought a proxy package here. Um, you can you can get them on uh, the Storm Observers dashboard, stormobservers.com. Uh, log in with a free account. 
and go check out the proxy section the proxy uh, section and um, I've got a package here so I'm gonna load 5,000 every five minutes so I click this guy here auto load campaign all because if it's for anonymous I want to load from a remote URI so I click no paste my URI it's gonna ask me how long in minutes do I want to load these I want to reload every five minutes um, that's how often they refresh with live ones and when you're loading do you want to append to replace you want to replace because the new ones are fresh and the old ones could be dead so I click no you see I just loaded that and it will show a timestamp here in the top of this form when this loads you can keep this open full screen it whatever you want to do if you have a huge proxy list you can also disable your view and refresh and it will still continue to auto load it just won't waste the GPU or the yeah you know GPU resource here so for me that's good to go uh, refers like the user agents we need one for the account or whatever for the accounts I'm just gonna go ahead and do a Google these strings do need to be valid links. Uh, if I were to leave a W out or take away the W's, Instagram would detect that. So you need to be careful about that. Um, for the all the anonymous threads, I'll just do a, I'm gonna simulate if someone were on Instagram, they forgot about the tab or whatever, the session and cookies expired, and then they reloaded it. So it's a kind of a direct refer there, spoofing that. I'll just do another all from uh, Bing. Should be good to go. Okay, so now I can go ahead and start this, and you can see it's it now monitoring the accounts I have available. I can control them individually by you know selecting the one or many or whatever, right? All, and you can see I have my global statistics are started. Each individual account has its own statistics uh, because this is based on time elapsed, and so this, you need to take this with a grain of salt depending on how your delay between starting this. So your real stats are going to be located here. So I'm going to go ahead and log in all these accounts now. So I'll just go ahead and select them all, right click, log in, and this is priming them. So you can see the first two are invalid, meaning bad usernames. This one failed, meaning it was probably flagged in some way. Um, and I did this intentionally to, so you can kind of see, and you can see this, I have this one primed. This means this one's ready to swap. So I, now I can go ahead and set the child threads, okay? Oh, and one thing I forgot to go over in settings before I do this, these child threads. Each one of these threads that you start is gonna count as one thread. So if I were to just start this, it'd be one, but if I wanted to have a ch 100 child threads, I would need to allow 101. My proxy package does not allow more than 500 threads maximum, so I could do 500 plus whatever the number of accounts I have is, or just keep it at 500, not a big deal. I'm just gonna update that real quick. And then, so set these threads, I'll just do 100, it's I don't even need to do this many it is so fast so I'm gonna go ahead and start this now and you can see the turbo is active and so the threads are pooling it's gonna pull a new thread every hundred milliseconds you can adjust that though you can see our proxy attempts and our speed is building what now we have all hundred threads pooled they're going ham we have a hundred percent success rate we are now at 19 a second and rising that's 80,000 an hour and this is just for one thread. So if I want to add more accounts, I can start this up, and now all of a sudden I have, you know, three or four times 100,000 attempts an hour times 27 a second. And uh, this is a very cheap proxy package. Um, there's also a link to free proxies in the dashboard that work. Your rate per second will go down a little bit, but it'll still work just fine if you're trying to keep it low budget. I understand. So you can see right now I'm at 29 per second, and. Uh, you can see the target's empty and my proxy's empty because I didn't use a proxy for this account and it hasn't found a target yet. Right now, we're only checking this one target. I'm going to go ahead and for demonstration purposes, I'm going to actually go ahead and change the username to simulate so we can take that. So I'm just going to go ahead and add, you know, I'm going to go ahead and change that right now and you'll see it'll swap. Before we do that, let's look at the speed going up nicely. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and change it right now boom so literally within seconds so i just swapped i just swapped that account and uh i mean what i mean that was not even seconds that was i would say less than 10 milliseconds because you have so many threads aiming for it right so essentially you could do multiple modes like i said you can load more than one target yada yada so now 
this account obviously shut down because it got a target. That's a great account. You don't want it to do anything more. The nice thing is, even though this thread is finished, if I had other accounts running, it would continue to run, meaning those are isolated, unaffected, progress is not stopped. So uh, I think that's a pretty good demonstration of this tool. Uh, once again, it's for sale on stormobservers.com. If you have any questions, hit me up, of course. Um, yeah, good luck with your campaigns.